Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and y'all already know what this is. I already pushed out a video, so this must be the They Pray and Pray on Your Downfall, beloved. Um, I will that you all are enjoying your moon day, your Monday, that you all are, you know, preparing yourself for you know, this Mercury retrograde that takes place tomorrow. Um, we also have the lunar eclipse in our sign. So, you know, you may be feeling the feelings of lethargy and you may feel a little tired and, you know, so it's like it's best to just kind of take some time out to just woosah, prepare yourself. Um, I know Mercury retrograde gets a bad rap, but it really isn't as bad as everyone makes it out to be. You just have to prepare yourself. Um, for the energy, you know, when you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Um, but I will, you all are blessed. Uh, as I said, I wanted to do the They Pray and Pray on Your Downfall series. I wanted to take a peek into what may be hidden, you know, some of that shadow energy, um, especially with this lunar eclipse. Uh, there's a lot that may be hidden at this time. And I just want to give you some foresight on what that might be. So, Welcome to anyone that may be new. As I said, my name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I'm an empath. I channel messages intuitively and I am also clairaudient. So you will hear music playing in the background. And those messages definitely blend beautifully with what comes out in the tarot cards. Right now we have Dave East and the name of this song is called Numb. So I feel that there's been so much going on you know, that maybe some of you all are numb. Maybe some of you all are not really responding to people in the same way you may have in the past. Um, maybe you all have been hurt so much that you've become numb. Uh, maybe you've endured so much pain that, you know, it's almost like you're immune to it at this point. Um, maybe this is someone that you were dealing with. You know, maybe these are people who are you know, kind of preying on your downfall and maybe they're void of emotions. They could be numb, um, you know, because they of whatever experiences they've endured in their past, which has them projecting and deflecting from the actual issues that they need to confront. Uh, so maybe there is a sense that you could be dealing with some folks that are preying on your downfall, maybe because you are shining, you are glowing, maybe because you are loved, you're well received. So maybe there's people who could be a little jelly, a little envious behind the fact that you are someone that they see in this radiant light or in this certain vision. They have a certain vision of you that they may not have for themselves. And that's what makes them look to you or look at you as, you know, their competition. Um, but these are individuals that are very, I feel, I just heard the term, they're devoid of of emotions. Um, so this is really an issue that, that is an, a them issue and not a you issue, but we know that people tend to project and deflect from the actual issues all the time because they are not ready to do that inner work. Um, so we're gonna take a deeper dive, see what's coming and going out going on. Um, my messages are general, so anyone that is new here, my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign, so check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. These uh, videos are also, or these readings are also timeless. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, that was the divine timing intended for you all to do so, okay? So let's go ahead and do some house cleaning. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe source, the divine most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibration of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe. 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 So right now we have 
Layla Hathaway, and the name of the song is called That Was Then. So I feel like that's almost like you saying that, Scorpio, like that was then, this is now, I need you to catch up. I'm on a different timeline right now. Somebody from your past may be trying to come back. Uh, this is someone, as I said, that's not in touch with their emotions. I just get a sense that this is someone who is completely um, emotionless or someone who's completely uh, emotionally, um, you know, they're emotionally imbalanced. And so I feel like somebody could be coming back to you um, with some sort of nonsense. I'm hearing nonsense. And you like, look, that was then, this is now. It's almost like you trying to show them like, look, what you used to dealing with is not what you're going to be dealing with now because things have changed, I've changed. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're reading somebody. You're kind of like, you like, let me reintroduce myself. <laughs> my name is Q, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My name is Scorpio. Like you're, you're reintroducing yourself to someone because they got you jacked up because they trying to take you down a trip, you know, take you on a trip down memory lane, but it's not like good memories. It's like some sort of toxicity, maybe trying to be um, argumentative or just trying to be um, difficult in some way. It's almost like they're trying to distract you because they do see that you're in this whole new light and you're in this new space where you're very protective of your energy and maybe somebody is going to try to try you you know they're trying you trying to see what your response is going to be trying to see if you really you know um changed or if you're just putting on a facade so we're going to tap and tune in let's go ahead i want to pull some messages you know me i like to pull from um my numerology deck look at that what's on the bottom of the deck we have self-love here so this is why you're like reading someone their rights like literally like you are like look let me reintroduce myself to you because it's apparent that you don't know me so let me explain to you who i am and what i'm about this merry-go-round <laughs> you know because it's like somebody coming back with the same old foolishness the same old shenanigans and you're just not here for it at all. And with the self-love, this is why. You have no time for it. You have no patience for the drama, for the negativity, for the toxicity, and for the foolery overall, because you love yourself now. Maybe in the past you would have entertained it or you would have fell into the trap of getting distracted, of allowing someone to, to trick you into some sort of you know illusion or some sort of game. Um, or allowing yourselves to be manipulated. And this time around, it's like, nah, boop, leave a message. Like, I'm, I'm not here for all of that. So you have self-love this time around. The 61 is also the number seven, which is your crown chakra. You are hip to the nonsense. You are in tune. You already see what they're trying to do. You got them figured out and you're not falling for the okie doke. And this is why, because you have mastered the art of self-love. You have love for yourself, which means love is an inside job. So you're not looking outside of yourself for someone to fill a void that this person that's coming to you with the drama obviously has. So they're trying to find other people to be miserable with them and you're not falling for the okie doke. So we got self love here. So you have self love and we have synchronicity on the split. So this is 87. That reduces to 15, which is six. So some of you all could be seeing a lot of synchronicities at this moment, at this space and time. Maybe some of you all have been like really having certain, you know, experiences. Maybe your ears are ringing. Maybe you're receiving downloads. So you may be having headaches. Um, maybe some of you all are having like really lucid dreams. Um, maybe some of you all could feel yourselves, um, you know, you may feel a certain sensitivity during like those witching hours as if someone could be manipulating your energy. Or maybe it's just you feeling like um, super sensitive, you know, maybe you're getting certain downloads. Like I said, maybe you're taking more time out to sit out in nature, um, you know, because maybe that's what spirit is telling you. Your higher self is telling you to go out, sit in the sun, sun gaze or ground yourself. Uh, take your shoes off, um, you know, and just walk 
barefooted in the grass or in the dirt and you're doing it you know there's some sort of divine download or intervention or transmission that i feel you all are receiving um i definitely feel y'all are in boss mode you're not falling for any of the shenanigans anymore like i said because you've taken the reins of your life you're in control so these people could have been people who were used to uh you know used to you kind of over extending yourself in the past or you know like i said they knew which buttons to push or they knew how to manipulate you uh to get what they wanted and now it's just like nothing it's like crickets with you because you're a leader now you're in this boss energy you're very strong you're very aware and you're more powerful I feel now because you're owning it opposed to just you know roaring and and you know it's like you're not barking and there's no bite it's like you're absolutely owning your power right now and you are seen as someone very powerful you're seen as a leader this is something that you've changed into you've transformed this is a part of your rebirth this is the emergence of the new Scorpio so that's why I was feeling like somebody was trying to take you down a trip you know take you down that trip that memory lane trip and you wasn't going because you're like nah let me reintroduce myself to who to you because you it's apparent you don't know who I am and so this 81 like I said that's the uh, reduces to nine that's the highest number of change so they absolutely see your change they see that you've grown and they also feel how guarded you are you know very protective of your energy and it's because you have created a safe space for yourself so that you can heal so that you can evolve so that you can grow so that you can reach this higher level of you know understanding and knowing um right now we have krs1 this is called the south bronx and some of y'all may rain from the bronx i'm a bk um, bx girl uh maybe some of y'all just rain from new york in general um krs1 is an acronym for knowledge reigns supreme over nearly everybody so i feel like your knowledge that you've been able to obtain during your transformation you're reigning supreme meaning you're able to see you know all of the snakes that's hidden you're able to see the things that you may not have seen before because maybe there was a sense of you just kind of like going along to get along appeasing to please uh, maybe you was giving people the benefit of the doubt maybe you were self-sacrificing overcompensating in those relationships and a lot of that is because of some of your deeply rooted you know issues maybe they were familial maybe they were stemmed from your childhood um, maybe your first love which is you know like your father other, that first man you know maybe they were absent in your life and so throughout your whole uh, life you were kind of like looking for that father figure someone to play that father role and I think ultimately you addressed it even if it's not a father if it's some of you masculines maybe you were always trying to find someone that could fit into that that role of what your mother um, that role your mother played for you you know that very maternal and very caring nurturing um, type of queen and maybe you had to find that you know what you're looking for you have to you have to embody that you know you have to love yourself in the way that you see your divine partner loving you um, and that's what self-love is and that's what makes you more attractive ultimately and so the way you treat yourself is the way others are going to mimic you know is how they're going to mimic the treatment that they give you so it's like if somebody sees that you're willing to bend over backwards and they're giving you barely anything um, then that's definitely a sign that okay this is an easy vic I can completely take advantage of this situation uh, while still juggling whatever and so maybe that's a lesson you all had to learn was you had to love yourself some more you know right now we have lucky day this is called roll some more so I feel like a lot of you realized you had to love yourselves more love you more is what you had to do and I feel like now you you know you feel like a million bucks you feel very very um, you know very grateful for everything you've endured for what you've had to go through uh it's been a learning lesson i just saw teaching and learning and this just came out in the former reading so let's see who is this praying on scorpio's downfall and why who is this praying on our beloved scorpio's downfall and why so we got a card that just flew out somebody is praying on your downfall for a couple of reasons and i see 96 forgiveness 
So this is someone that either wants your forgiveness and you won't give it to them, or you may have forgiven and forgotten, um, and then you have spiritual partnership. So there could be somebody who's really jealous of the fact that, you know, maybe you wouldn't take them back. Um, you know, they, their idea of forgiveness is perhaps, you know, you two reconcile and reconnecting. Um, however, you know, what you have in the in the energy, what's attracted, what you are attracting to you is a spiritual partnership. So I feel somebody is feeling like they may have missed an opportunity with you, um, you know, because you are guarded. And I feel you're guarded because you have uh, you've ultimately you found your person. You found that one. Um, I'm going to these are going to be expounds because they fell down. And I didn't cut the deck yet. So that's what spirit told me to do. But that could definitely be somebody who is, you know, really like sitting back, you know, feeling kind of like, you know, like I said, with that numb song, I feel like they're devoid of emotions. And this is partially or mainly the reason why you can't, you know, return to that, because maybe this person has yet to apologize or take accountability or ownership of the things they've done to cause the demise. Maybe because you see they're still in the same mind space, playing the same games, talking the same game. It's just like it's it's unattractive. And so this is somebody that may have a vendetta, somebody that is saying they want your forgiveness. However, um, they're not doing much to, you know, to get it. I feel like you have forgiven because you realized forgiveness was for you, but um, you've forgotten. It's almost like you've left that person um, in the past, like I said, you know, and that's why we had, um, you know, Layla Hathaway singing, Do You Remember? And it's like, you know, or something. What was she singing? She was singing something about, um, you know, something about going back, you know, in time or something like that. What was that song? Um what was it? It was that was then. I think that's what it was. That was then. That was then. So it's like, yeah, that's what you were saying. You're saying like that was then. This is now like I'm a completely different person now. So on the bottom of the deck, what did I say? You got creativity here, beloveds. So you are the empress, the divine feminine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're masculine, this applies as well. You're seen as that divine masculine. So this is beautiful energy to open up the gate. Look at all this beautiful, sunshiny energy right here. This is like really somebody also realizing, um, you know, just how beautiful, how powerful, how attractive, how creative, how maternal, paternal, you know, how abundant you are. And you know your worth and value. You are owning it. You don't want for anything. It's like you're able to take care of yourself. You've discovered your foundation for your happiness. And your peace is stability, is security. You may be business owners. You may have some sort of, you know, uh, business endeavor that you are embarking on. And things are looking amazing. It's like you have a bright future, infinite supply. You are entrepreneurs. You're seen as bosses. That was that boss energy we saw with that uh, beautiful 81 coming out the gate leadership. So this is how others see you. They see you in this light. You are radiating this this light, love, you know, strength, beauty. This is a very powerful energy. And you also about your business. You don't play no games. That empress is. Like I said, the, the um, I mean, that three represents the Empress energy in traditional tarot, but that's also your solar plexus and your solar plexus is all about your, your confidence, your strength. It's about your ego. So it's like you have blossomed into this, this, you know, beautiful energy, that transformation that I was picking up on. You've emerged as, as this divine feminine or divine masculine. Very beautiful. We got domestic harmony here. Someone's hating on the fact that you are at peace. You've created a peaceful space for yourself and you have peace in your home, peace in your life. And I feel like you're attracting people that are on your, va your wavelength and vibration. So it's very, very, um, it's very possible for you to attract your divine masculine or divine feminine, especially in this divine feminine energy or divine masculine energy 
it's you're going to attract what you are if you're very you know confident and attractive and self-loving you're going to attract someone that's going to be attracted to that element of you and they're going to come at you or approach you i should say in that same energy because they know that you're not going to accept anything less than as this divine feminine or divine masculine so they're going to come in and they're going to match your fly match your vibration we got domestic harmony here there's an opportunity for domestic harmony after the demise of a relationship after something ended prematurely i heard prematurely so this was like prematurely means it's like unexpected so this is like you something something ended unexpectedly and i feel whatever transpired it's like you went through it to learn to love you better to love you more because i feel like you gave your all to that connection or you gave your all to those friendships those relationships to that job you extended yourself too much and you got very little in return and i feel like that was eye opening i heard the term eye opening in my mind's eye so it's like it really showed you a lot. I feel like you started to really assess all of your relationships. You was hurt so much that, you know, maybe that is what numbed you because the pain was so intense that you you couldn't even cry any more tears because you cried so much. Some of y'all couldn't cry anymore because you was just crying yourselves to rest probably for three months, three years, like just crying. You know, I'm seeing someone just really crying. And so I see this 46 domestic harmony. There's definitely an opportunity for you to have a new beginning in a very harmonized union. But I feel there's someone very ticked off, pissed off about the ending of this connection with you. Because we see clearly that you was the very nurturing, loving, attentive, affectionate, you know, feminine or masculine energy protective, a provider, supportive, you know, very determined, very invested, like that's that energy. But also, you know, someone domestic, you know, someone very, um, someone who's invested in the connection long term, you know, looking to build that legacy, build that, the roots, the seeds, plant the seeds, you know. This is that type of energy. So let's see. It says nothing can come between us um, by Sade. That's what's playing right now. So let's see. Who is praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Okay, so this is in my hand. We got music. So it's telling me to listen to this song. And this is somebody who's listening to music. And they think of you through song. It's like the songs that's playing. This is the second time music has come out I want to say the third time but this music card has been coming out a lot lately and so either you all are musicians and you use your song lyrics as a way to express yourself your pain your hurt your experiences or someone's listening to music and it just reminds them of you maybe somebody with nothing can come between us maybe you all are attracting someone and I just saw 23 23 that's 5 5 that's 10 so you are attracting someone. 23 is 32 reversed. So with the five, that still reduces to five. This is someone you're not communicating with that listens to music and they think of you. There's yellow on the inside of this card. So I feel like they're trying to muster up the strength to take action, to communicate, you know, to spark that first conversation after maybe five years, five months, or maybe after eight months, eight, you know, eight weeks, whatever. It's like there's somebody that wants to communicate with you. Um, this person thinks the world of you. They absolutely see your light. They see you as very radiant. They see you as a star. You know, they feel that you are like very attractive, very strong, very creative, very talented, gifted, very wise. And we have um, the whispers and this is called and the beat goes on. So this person may be like, you know, sending you messages um, via the dream world. This person may also look at you as a wish fulfillment. This is someone that sees you as like, you know, the one that got away. 
you're the one that they can't shake that feeling. And maybe this is the reason why you got haters, because as we saw in the beginning, you had the, uh, there was the, um, I forgot what the cards were, but it was something pertaining to, uh, oh, spiritual partnership. It was spiritual partnership and there was another card, but someone was kind of like, you know, kind of hating on that connection that you are developing and forging with another person. Whoever this is that's hidden, because I feel like this person isn't communicating, because I feel like they're, they, they, they have difficulty expressing themselves. We've been seeing this for the past six, seven, eight months. Somebody that is very much into you has a very difficult time expressing themselves. They are not communicative, especially not when it comes to their emotions. And they damn sure are not um, open to being vulnerable. This is a, a problem area for them. That could be the reason why numb was showing or playing earlier, because it's almost like this person is numb or devo devoid of emotions. Or maybe this could be someone else that could be listening to music, thinking of you, obsessing over you. With the beat goes on, I feel like life goes on, you know, um, for you. Like you've just continued to push forward. But I do feel someone communicates with you telepathically, intuitively. And I feel that some of you may be even having very lucid dreams. There goes the spiritual partnership yet again. I was just trying to remember what the card was. So this is this energy that I'm picking up right now is definitely someone that is like, you know, a kindred spirit, your soulmate, your twin flame. This is someone I feel that is like even a past life love. This is the same someone that has been showing up in every freaking reading. And every time that I speak on their feelings for you, this music card shows up. And I feel it's because this person may be listening to music and the music they're listening to is truly expressing what they feel for you. And so they may just be kind of like obsessively listening to that song or having that particular song on repeat. And it's like maybe you're picking up on this energetically because Scorpios, you all are very psychic right now. You're very sensitive. So you may be picking up on this person energetically because when someone thinks of you constantly or when there's constant thoughts of you, it's like that's when you start getting those little synchronistic um you know, little uh, sensations that I was speaking of earlier. Maybe you're getting little, you know, downloads. Maybe your eyes twitching, your ears ringing, hands itching. You know, maybe you're getting little dull headaches, whatever it is. Those are little signs. Those are the little ways in which the divine lets you know that there's something else, you know, within the energy that's hidden. And it's affecting you for a reason. And when you go and research the reason why this may be happening or what this means, it may be hitting right on, you know, hitting it right on the nose. But I definitely feel somebody does listen to music and they are thinking of you and playing a particular song several times. Somebody could have played a song 32 times just thinking of you. Just, you know what I'm saying? Because this yellow in the symbol is, is kind of like letting me know this person's trying to muster up the strength, the courage to come toward you. And we have Bone Thugs in Harmony, and it's called the first of the month. So the first of the month, you know, maybe the first of next month, June, you know, maybe this person will reach out, muster up the courage to send that kite, <laughs> to send that message, to send you a text, to send you an email, to DM you you know, Skype you, whatever. This person is going to wait till the first of the month. So let's see. So we got synchronicity. I mean, um, spiritual partnership here. So let's see. Who is this person praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? So I feel like the person praying on your downfall is praying on your downfall because you have a very um, powerful union that you are forging with someone it's like they can sense it too it's in the air you know what i'm saying it's in the air love is in the air you know and we have spirituality can't make this up so 77 you are attracting your soulmate your twin flame this this message this same message keeps coming out every reading i feel redundant sometimes because it's the same message and both of you are matching one another's energy. That's why I was saying, like, 
you know, this person may be sending you messages intuitively and you could be picking up on it because of the simple fact that both of y'all are very psychic. This could be another water sign. You know, this is another water sign, someone that potentially or just someone who's very intuitive as well, tapped into the frequency. I feel this person is going to rush in once they muster up that strength and once they, you know, whatever it is they're working out within their mind, because I do get a sense like somebody is kind of like in two minds. It's almost like, you know, should I go forward or should I not? And it's because, like I said, they see you in that boss energy, this empress energy. This could be very intimidating, you know, to someone, especially if they don't know what your response is going to be. Maybe this is someone who fears rejection. You know, they look at you as you could have anyone you want or you are doing whatever it is you want to do. You just you're you, you have this sense of freedom. That's, again, something that's very attractive. It's like drawing them in. But with spirituality, I do feel that you two, your souls are intertwined. This could be I was feeling past life love. And when I see that seven, seven spirituality, that lets me know like this is in fact, a very um, sacred union. This is a very sacred connection. Very powerful one. And perhaps this person may reach out to you next month, you know, on the first of a month. Let's see what we got on the bottom of the deck. We got spirituality. Maybe this is someone that will become like your, your um, you know, the two of you will be like a power couple, like a spiritual power couple. Two of you will go into business together because we saw spiritual partnership. Maybe you'll meet someone that will become a business partner and that connection will be like a kindred spirit. Like you could meet your soul tribe or a soul family member and the two of you will go into business. I feel like this is like also saying that, you know, with the 78, that's 15, which reduces to six. I do feel because remember the spiritual partnership was 87. So that was this card flipped. So I do feel whatever it is, you know, that that's like the lover's vibration because um, that six represents the lovers. But six is also the first eye. So I feel whatever this is that you and your person may be doing, um, maybe they, too, will be like someone in, you know, practicing spirituality in the spiritual realm of some sorts. Maybe they're tower readers or psychics or scryers, clairaudience, clairsentience, maybe they're. Um, tower readers also. Maybe they provide, you know, um, sound therapy. Uh, but this is someone who you will also have um, more in common with than just, you know, the love you two share. You have a spiritual connection. I feel like this is something that's ordained because you see this is 77, 78. So that's a sign that this is like divine intervention, a divine connection because the cards are in sync. And we did hear, you know, we saw earlier synchronicity. So it's like maybe the divine is going to send you little nudges or give you little signs, little hints, um, you know, that your person's coming. And you may start seeing these little um, synchronicities, um, which will kind of, you know, clue you in on the fact that your person is coming in. We have uh, Gerald Levert, and this is called Baby Hold On To Me. So this is someone that you're going to be able to really trust somebody that's going to be very supportive of you. I feel this is somebody that's going to really be your protector. You know, they're going to be that very, um, they're going to be very, um, I just feel this person that's very devoted, you know, devoted to you, to the connection, um, to the union, you know, to that, that whole family dynamic. They're going to be very devoted. And they want you to lean on them because that's what they're there for. They're there to have this very solid, sacred union with you. And I feel like it's going to, you know, supersede your expectations. I feel like it's not just going to be a love ship. I think it's going to develop into even, you know, a spiritual business partnership. I feel the two of you will work well together. You'll gel well together. Your families will gel well together. Your children, if you have them will gel well. It's just like the union will be very sacred and it's because you two will cultivate it, nurture it, protect it with all your, your might, 
you know, and this is something that's going to be hated and, and envied by anyone from your past that was already hating and jealous because they're seeing just how sacred the connection is. They're seeing you in this light. You're glowing, you know, and, and you're glowing because you've grown. You've learned from past experiences and you've become better. And that's what learning is about. You know, failure is necessary because you learn what not to do moving forward. And that's what this person is seeing is the better version of you. You know, this past person that's hating, that is. So let's see who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. Bottom of the deck, we got self-discipline. So we saw self-love during the uh, pre-shuffle. So we got two green cards and we have environment and nature. And we got 44. So that's another. Um, this is another double number. And you know how I feel about my double numbers. So the divine is saying that this is someone that's already in your environment. And these two numbers equal 11, 11. So you absolutely have a twin flame, a soulmate, a cosmic companion, the yang to your yin, yin to your yang that's coming in. And that's what these people are hating on. They're also hating on the fact that you're not giving them nothing. It's like you have self-control. You're not biting the bait. You're not falling for the okie doke. You're not even getting distracted anymore from the distractions. And so this is causing a lot of frustration. And this is causing people to try to conjure up some sort of malicious attack, attacks. But this 44 environment, this is someone you may have worked with in the past. This could be also someone that may be in your environment, maybe someone that is kind of hiding behind the scenes that could potentially be, um, you know, like a grocery store you may peruse every now and then, or maybe it's... Uh, a gym that you go to, you know, maybe it's a vegan restaurant or maybe there's a soul food restaurant or maybe even in your own neighborhood, you might have some new neighbor that just popped up, moved in, and they may have their eye on you. With this environment, this also could be speaking to, you know, maybe there's some sort of opportunities that's coming in at your, in your career, promotions, pay increases, bonuses. I feel like there's things looking up. There's a, like a a wish that's being granted. This 44 reduces to eight. This is also letting me know that there's a lot of love that you're going to share between another person because there's been a lot of healing done after painful endings, after loss, after sudden loss and, and, and after the betrayals and the deceit. It's like you took the necessary time and someone else also took the necessary time to heal, to really heal, to really assess to really reflect, to take accountability, responsibility, and onus of their part. And after you do that work, now you can move forward being a better person, not only for yourself, but for those that you may, you know, encounter. And so with this four, that, that is a very stable, sturdy, solid number. So I feel like you're coming into a connection now or coming into a union solid. So I'm hearing solid as a rock. You know what I'm saying? Ashford and Simpson. Like you're, this is that type of energy where you're going to be really matched with someone that's on your frequency. That four is 11, 11. And this is 11, 11 twice. And remember, you know, cause four is the vibration of 11, 11. But remember we got the 77 and the 44 right next to each other. So both of you are matching one another's energy just off the rip. You're both spiritual, you're both very, very sensitive, you're picking up on each other's energy, communicating telepathically, intuitively, you're very sharp, you know, there's a sense of inner wisdom, inner knowing, there's an undercurrent of, of, you know, just, just, of knowingness, just a knowingness. And then we have this nature, 74, so that's another 11. And we have Drake featuring Janae Aiko, and this is called From Time. So I feel like from time, you know, whatever time it took, I'm getting divine timing is of the essence. Things are going to happen very naturally and very organically. So perhaps from the time you exited a, a, a karmic relationship and all of the healing you've been doing, 
from that time on to now, you're, you're dealing with divine timing. And I feel like it was really, you know, teaching you because we saw teaching and learning and it was teaching you how to love yourself, how to respect yourself, how to, you know, be dignified, you know, how to be loyal to you first and foremost, how to protect your energy. And now with this 74, this is showing me you received like downloads from spirit, kind of nudging you, letting you know what to do, what you need to not do any more you know like this is divine intervention divine guidance transmissions downloads some of you all like i said were taking those nature walks maybe some of you all were bathing in the ocean doing some sort of spiritual baths in the oceans giving offerings but just really grounding yourself really centering yourself and i feel like that heightened you know your sensitivity psychically intuitively even energetically, you know, there's a sense that you could feel energy, you read body language, you're just very aware. It's like you have a sixth sense. It's almost like you can sense, just like animals, when there's a storm coming or they sense danger, it's like they have a sixth sense. They could tell when there is like, you know, a tornado or something really eerie that's about to, you know, wash over that, that particular area and they get out of the way of danger. And I feel like that's how you feel. Like you're, you're just like bobbing and weaving through life. Like, you know, avoiding all of the, the negativity and the drama that people are really strong. Like they're trying hard. But you got self-love. This 41, self-discipline. This is that five again. I feel like a lot of you all learn to love yourselves. That was a part of self-love, self-care was, you know, really getting to the root cause of whatever it was that was getting in the way of you having... Um, that sense of, 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 of feeling um, valuable, feeling good enough. And you did that internal work. And we could see that here with this 44. And this 41 is letting me know, like, you found your voice. You absolutely found your voice and you started to express that voice, express your truth, stand in your truth. And that's powerful. So who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? It's because you're being more spontaneous. You're taking more risks. You're being more daring. You're going after what you want. This is 5-5. Five, five. That's another 5-5. Five, five. Look at this. Double numbers all throughout this. Your person is coming, baby. Teaching and learning on the bottom of the deck. You both have been students, you know. And not only have you been students, but I feel like there's a sense that, you know, you're teaching them and they're teaching you almost. You know, whether y'all realize it or not, <laughs> you know. It's like somebody is hidden in the background, hidden behind the scenes. And this is somebody that wants to come in and make an offer. Someone that wants to come in and, you know, kind of like just take you out of your comfort zone. Someone that wants to bring excitement into your life and joy. This is somebody that could potentially be, you know, going through their own cycle, completion of some sort of karmic cycle. And now they're looking towards you know, some sort of new start, looking towards a new beginning. And this time around, they're going to be more daring, more risky, more spontaneous. And they're looking to you to have this spontaneity with. Because I feel like they've learned a lot from you. And I feel like the divine wants you to surrender when this person does come knocking on your door, you know. But they've learned a lot through watching you because you are seen, you know, as that empress. And the empress is very wise. She is definitely very wise. She embodies all of the characteristics and attributes of all of the queens. So she's very knowing, very aware. And so we have, we have the godfather of Lover's Rock. And this is Alton Ellis. And this is called, You've Made Me. So very happy. So someone's coming to this realization that you make them happy. This is a very protected and sacred union, just as I said. And somebody's hating on you, but you are protected. Some of you all, you have been, you know, creating your own circles of protection. Maybe some of you all have, um, you know, protective rituals that you do uh, just to, you know, ward off all of that negativity and envy and jealousy that can be looming. But this is showing me that you are protected. 
spiritually protected, divinely protected, and guided, you know. And I feel like you make someone happy, 4444 on the clock. So that's a very beautiful energy right there, 4444 is 16, that's 7. Someone's rushing in because they just realize how happy you make them. This could potentially be someone you already know. If this is a past life love, this person is returning into your life. If this is someone you know from your past that wants to reach out and communicate with you, I feel like they're rushing in. They're going to rush in and they're going to express how much you make them happy. This creativity card, this definitely alludes to happiness, brighter days, you know, new beginnings, new starts. On the split, we have winter. So there was a death or a demise of a connection. And something got really cold. Maybe somebody was being cold and callous. I just dropped a couple of cards. Let's see what these are. So we have manifestation spell. And um, we also have cauldron containment. So I'm feeling off the rip that somebody had somebody stuck um, and contained. You know, this is almost like um, one of those binding rituals is what I'm getting. And someone casted a spell on someone to keep them stuck there. And I feel like this is probably why this person is having so much difficulty communicating because somebody has probably done something to contain someone. They could have done like a freezer spell or buried someone's... Um, Entered, you know, someone's uh, personal belongings somewhere. And so they just feel very um, stuck, you know, restricted. But I feel like, you know, with that protection card showing up in the very beginning of the reading, I feel like whatever this is that was dead, whatever's dead, it can, you know, Scorpios, you rule death. You know, you're the conduits of change, transformation, and rebirth. So I feel there's a sense, like I said, with the teaching and learning. Somebody could have been watching you and hiding or in private, and they've been learning from watching you. And maybe your energy and vibration has kind of triggered them, amplified, you know, their abilities, you know, to, to wake up out of the, out of the, um, because remember numb, that numb word is just like it bothers me because when you're numb of something you're devoid of emotions and so maybe that's something that somebody did like that sounds like some sort of spell work and somebody's like making a situation numb or making someone feel like like they don't have feelings or can't communicate you know that that's like you know there's our spells where somebody can you know stop someone from communicating and I just get a sense that it, it's it's painful for this person you know, like it pains them not communicating with you, not hearing your voice, seeing your face, being in your energy, whoever this person is. So who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? But somebody's jealous of this connection as they should be, because this is obviously this is a sacred sp spiritual connection. This ain't no, you know, typical little, you know, fling. This is like a spiritual connection and someone feels threatened by this because they know once you and this person hook up it, it, it's like they're forgotten they're a distant memory so the bottom of the deck we got creativity look at this i can't make this up i told you somebody's coming in for you scorpio you got hand fasting clarifying the creativity card which is the empress energy and so we have de la soul the name of the song is ego tripping so maybe somebody in the past was definitely ego tripping like i said with that numb they was devoid of emotions. They wasn't showing you enough. This is going to lead potentially to marriage. These two are jumping over a broom. So this speaks to marriage, commitment. And this is not something that you just, you know, dibble and dabble in. This is like long-term commitment. Children, family, legacy. I was seeing y'all, you know, building a business, you know, spiritual business together. In addition to your, your career, your love ship, your love partnership. This is someone that is completely attracted to you she's wearing a little engagement ring so this is someone that will be committed to you to the point where they will give you some tangibles <laughs> a ring you know a promise a vacation this is someone that's going to take you out just spontaneously say hey look i booked us a trip to the bahamas i booked us a trip to jamaica you know Get your passports together. Some of y'all don't have no passports. And whoever's coming in for y'all, I'm telling you, they're going to be spoiling y'all rotten 
like being adventurous, doing all the things that you never even imagined you'd be doing. I'm seeing zip lining. I'm seeing you like feeding animals in the safari. Like it's just like I'm, I'm seeing like the, the, your sky is the limit with this connection because it's already showing me how spiritual it is. And this is the very reason people hate what they can't, you know, duplicate. And because somebody failed at love with you or because some of these people are no longer in your inner circles or a part of your life because you've kind of cut them off and left them where they were. You know what I'm saying? Right where they stand, like Gangstar said, guru. It's like now there's this this like there's this malice, you know, there's this 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 anger, you know, this resentment now that they are carrying for you. But there is someone here that sees your worth and value and they're going to scoop you up. You know, this is somebody that's definitely uh, coming in with the right intentions. And that is to to um, court you. And to make you theirs because they see your worth as this empress or, you know, if you're masculine as that emperor. And they're not going to let you get away because it's like, the, 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 you know, there's the pickings are slim out here. Let's just say that. Bottom of the deck, we have the awakening. So what did I say? Somebody is really coming into some sort of awakening with that yellow there. This is like illumination, clarity, seeing something for the first time. Like, ah. Oh, you know, I do love Scorpio and that's why those songs are on repeat because it's expressing everything they feel. And we got Junior Mafia crush on you. So this person absolutely is coming into some sort of awareness, you know, that they have this crush on you. And you can see these two deer here just all hugged up, loved up. This is what they envision, you know, just being free. This could be somebody that has earth energy in their chart. But this person does have a crush on you. Like I was feeling like you had a secret admirer or someone that's kind of watching from the background. And that's what I'm seeing. This person is really trying to figure out how to speak to you, how to communicate with you. They're definitely coming into the realization that they need to hurry up and, and just, you know, make that move. But they do have very strong feelings and love, you know, for you, Scorpio. So who is this praying to Scorpio's downfall and why? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we got protection again. This is a sacred union. And I feel like it's going to happen in divine timing. You know, it's going to happen in divine timing. Healer. What did I say about you and this person, you know, being, you know, in the spiritual, you know, in the spiritual practice? This person's also a healer. This person that is attracted to you, they're also looking to you as a healer. You know, I feel the music also soothes them, centers them, grounds them. It makes them, you know, feel you know, a sense of relief from all of the pain and the anxiety of living in their head. You know, they're constantly in their head about the situation. But then when they play that song, it kind of like it says everything they want to say. I won't be surprised if this person just messages you and says, hey, listen to this song, because that's what they want you to. That, that, because they have such difficulty expressing themselves, they may just dedicate a song to you, you know. But this is someone who's also a healer. They're also going through a healing process. I feel like they also look to you as a healer. They see you as someone that has, you know, done that work on yourselves. And so this has inspired, encouraged and motivated them to do their work. Like I said, you triggered this person. You may have activated them to come into the uh, awareness of what their skills, you know, were. Because remember, we just saw awakening. So they may be, maybe they're coming into this, their own spiritual awakening, dark, going through their own um, dark night of the soul journey. But this is a protected union. You are protected. I feel like you definitely um, ensure that you smudge regularly, that you do spiritual baths regularly, you know, that you wear your protective jewels and amulets. You know, I feel like you do take those necessary precautions and spirit notices that as well. But you're also spiritually protected. You are. I feel a lot of y'all rank high in the spiritual realm like you are. You know, some of you all are chosen. You're initiates. I was picking up on that in a former reading. We're obviously seeing here with healer. Some of you could be healers, shamans, light workers, Reiki healers. You could be spiritual therapists or sound therapists. Excuse me psychics, tower readers, channelers, like you, you're in, you're wrapped into spirituality in some way. And I feel like, you know, whatever you do, it's protected. I feel like the divine is telling you to also protect yourself when you're 
um, channeling, you know, protect your energy, make sure that before you start any of those spiritual practices that you um, cleanse the energy, you call on your angels to protect you in that process. Um, some of you, you know, definitely need to start implementing that, say a prayer. Um, but yeah, so why is spirituality here for my beloved Scorpios for who's praying on their downfall? Thank you, spirit. So we got the divine masculine. So you got a divine masculine. This is your divine masculine. Didn't I say that? The three, creativity, divine feminine. And now you got the divine masculine coming out. Lord God. This is your divine masculine, divine feminine, ladies, gents. This is what I've been saying through the whole reading. And we have Al Green. How can you mend a broken heart? So somebody that's healing right now, you know, is coming to you because they want you to mend their broken heart. I feel like you and someone else are absolutely like matching one another's energy, vibration. You're in the same, it's like you're meeting at the same um, crossroad, if you will. You know, and we have imagination air. Someone's thinking of you heavily. So you're up in someone's mind. They see you as that wish fulfillment with this 44. This is someone that does have a lot of love. This is someone that does visualize you in their life. This is someone who's also thinking about, you know, communicating. This is air, imagination. They could be visualizing you, daydreaming about you, thinking of you, like I said, or just simply dreaming of you at night. This is somebody that is in your environment or someone you may have had in your environment, someone you know. This is obviously someone that you are familiar with. And this is a, a person from your past. I get the eight, which is the um, justice. So something, you know, maybe some truth is going to come to light. I definitely feel like you're going to have some sort of karmic justice. I also, um, you know, look at the eight as wish fulfillment. Because the star card is the number 17. That's eight. So I do feel like this person sees you as a star. They see you in the spotlight. They see you radiating love and light. This is someone that visualizes, imagines you in their life. Because it says, how can you mend a broken heart? So this is someone who feels brokenhearted in your absence. With you not in their life, they feel brokenhearted. They feel like a piece of them is gone. And this is someone definitely heavily up in their head. You know, a little confused. You know, maybe they're thinking, overthinking the situation. But I do feel like there's recovery. Maybe somebody is reflecting back on you know a situation maybe this is someone that feels like they've missed some sort of opportunity and so they're trying to figure out how to to reconcile or heal this connection bottom of the deck we have clearance so there has to be some some release some some purge perhaps of the past maybe somebody like I said had someone putting some sort of spells on them doing some sort of Binding spells or rituals and they may need to clear that energy out First and foremost with nature, you know, maybe they're getting those downloads divine intervention synchronicities Letting them know that they something needs to be cleared out first and foremost Maybe someone doesn't realize that someone has placed something in their home Some of you all need to you know sprinkle a little bit of salt and sweep it out of your front door in your home, like just sweep all that negative energy out, burn some frankincense and myrrh, put a little bit of sage and a little bit of dragon's blood and a little bit of um, a little bit of um, Palo Santo and just let that smoke out your house. And you could wash your floors with ammonia. Ammonia literally costs a dollar at the dollar store. And that's a great way to get rid of all stank, stagnant, stale energy out of your home. But I feel like whoever this is, you know, maybe you need to um, cleanse your home because this is saying there's a cleansing that's necessary, you know, clean, clear, cleanse. So somebody could be trying to get rid of some residual uh, energy within their home, within their environment. I feel like they also may need to go out in nature to get out of the home. Because maybe their home is a trap because, like I said, I was feeling like somebody may have placed something in the home or buried something around someone's home. You know, check your freezers also. 
You know, don't be duped. Like somebody could have a damn freezer spell in your own fridge, you know, because they know you don't go in there and check regularly. But check, check, check things out. You know, that's why cleaning and clearing and decluttering is necessary. Because when you go through these relationships and you with people that are toxic, you don't know what you, you can't put anything past anybody. So it's really good to, you know, cleanse your home, even getting rid of old clothing and jewelry and things you don't use anymore, you know, because that's the energy, you know, that that that's there. So somebody needs to, you know, really like go outside, clear their mind, because I do feel like there's some sort of downloads. There's some some information and affirmation that needs to be transmitted. And I feel they'll receive the message because this purple and the symbol is telling me that somebody's definitely psychic. Maybe they're already getting messages that there's a, a deep clearing, you know, that's required. See that? Guardian is here. Can't make this up. You guys have like ancestors, angels that are watching and protecting y'all. Some of you all may have black cats. You know, your cats are also highly intuitive. And pay attention to their behavior, especially during these next couple of weeks and this next month. Because I feel like with this lunar eclipse... There's going to be a lot of, of, of energy, very intense energy. And your cats, you may find that your cats could potentially be, you know, acting a little different. You know, maybe they're looking up at things that you don't see. And we all know cats are, you know, they, they teeter between this physical reality and the spiritual world. So they could see things you can't see. You know, they're highly intuitive and they're impervious to threat. But you have protection. You already saw protection several times and now you have guardian so you have angels and guardians that protect you i also feel like i said you know this connection um this special spiritual union the special cosmic companion you're going to feel a sense of familiarity with this person there's going to be this sense of knowingness and this is because this is almost like you know your your earth angel this is the one that the divine has assigned for you that's why we was picking up that this is just going to happen so naturally and so organically that it's just going to feel right. It's just going to feel like it was right. And we have um, Glenn Lewis, and this is called Closer. So this getting closer and closer to the time. That's why I feel like, you know, somebody is really like wrapping things up, you know, um, and maybe they're, you know, getting this information, affirmation that um, it's time to clear up. You know, it's time to do some clearing, some cleaning, some purging. Because the time is, is, is near for you and this person to come into union and for them to, you know, finally walk away from what no longer serves them. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light, who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? So we got passion that flew out. So like I said, things are going to happen very naturally and organically. And it's because there's strong passion, desire. This is intensity. This is attraction. This is love. This is also... Someone that you have a very strong chemistry and synergy with, even a sexual attraction to this person. I think you are attracted to this person on, you know, many levels and them you. But with this 11, this is telling me like this is really uh, divine, divinely ordained, divine intervention. This could potentially be someone um, that is a fire sign as well. You got fire, air, you know, here. And with closer, this this is like it's getting closer and closer to the time where this this passion, this love, this this is all going to explode. I feel someone is really manifesting you. Someone is really trying to manifest or summon you, you know, or you could be doing this manifesting someone. Someone's returning. We got homecoming here. Someone's returning because you feel like home. Heart is where the home is. Look at this. Didn't I say somebody? Put some sort of spell work, got some sort of binding ritual on someone. See that? And this is what has prevented them from returning to you because somebody casted some sort of spell. I can't make this ish up. I knew it. I felt it. I feel like somebody is like affecting someone's ability to express their truth. They're taking away their free will and free liberty. But with protection and guardians showing up several times during this read, I feel like that's the divine's way of saying that they ain't stopping shit. Pardon my language, but what you do is going to come back to you. And that person that you're trying to hold on to is going to see you for who you are. 
That's why that air energy is there. It's not stopping their feelings, their intensi the intensity of their feelings. It's not stopping anything. If anything, they're going to have to reap what they sow. And because they've been sowing, you know, thinking that they was gods and goddesses and thinking they was going to just, you know, manipulate the energy and take away somebody's free will and liberty. Trust me, justice is here. Just, justice is always here. Mama Ma'at got everybody's address. And this eight definitely alludes to the fact that somebody is going to have to get a little dose of karma, you know, for manipulating and trying to intervene with something that the divine is ordaining. So this banishment, this hex, it's like it's been banished. The divine has banished that hex. And somebody will be returning home. And this is going to be exciting. And this is almost like that new chance, that new opportunity to rekindle something or for someone to, you know, have that beginning again. Start all over. You know, start back at one. And with closer, this person is getting closer and closer to taking that step, that leap of faith. And so... We got two cards that flew out. Look at that. I can't make this up. We got Wiccan rule. So didn't I just say somebody's taking away someone's free will and liberties? And this is what this is saying. But then we got protection that flew out with it. So the, I can't make this up. So whatever somebody, someone's taking away someone's ability to just, you know, act at their own free will, to be, you know, willful, you know, to step out of their comfort zone. You know, they, they, they're keeping them like trapped. I just feel entrapment. And this is somebody playing dirty. You know, this is somebody doing those little spells to, you know, trap a man, have him confused and conflicted and, you know, miserable all in the same. It's like you're dealing with a damn puppet. You know, you're not even dealing with a real human because you're, you're manipulating their energy. But this protection card here is saying that you all are protected. This union is protected. I was just telling you how this was a protected union. The divine is like, you damn right. Part of my language. He's like, you right. <laughs> Look at that. Awakening. Somebody is waking up out of this, out of the spell. They're waking up from the spell. They're waking up from it because time is up. The jig is up. Universe is here. Spirit's here. And they're saying, look, guardian, your, your, this connection is guard. This connection is protected. There's no way in the world that whoever this individual is, this old vile, volatile, very hateful, demonic ass energy that feels that they can take away someone's free will and liberty because they feel like it, it's all going to blow up in their face because this union is a spiritual one. This is a protected and sacred union. And that's why it would behoove people to stop doing that. You can't be looking at no YouTube videos and thinking you're going to be out here casting spells on people and you ain't going to have to pay for that. Like, you better leave that mess alone. <laughs> you best to leave it alone because you do not know how high in rank people are spiritually. And what you be throwing at folks, it can come right on back to you. All of the hate you send to someone, especially if it's, you know, spirit sees or source sees that you just minding your business and ain't doing nothing that warrants all of that oh yeah you're gonna have to pay for that you're gonna have to pay but there's an awakening somebody's waking up and they're getting closer to waking up we got brooklyn's finest playing by jay-z so some of y'all may hail from brooklyn i feel like this is definitely gonna be a very um because this is from the reasonable doubt. So I feel like this is going to be one of those situations where um, somebody is going to really start trusting their intuition. They're going to start paying attention to things. They're going to start really going with how things feel. And I feel like that's what's going to make them make a move. They're going to make a move according to the way that they feel because they're going to have some doubts. There's going to be some doubts about a situation. And I feel like this person is learning to trust that intuition learning to be more trusting. So let's see what we got here, here on the bottom of the deck. So we have the six of wands. So the six of wands is here on the bottom of the deck. So this is telling me there's victory. There's victories ahead, there's success, breakthrough, six, there's, there's some sort of, um, there's some sort of, of opportunity um, for recognition. You know, your peers are recognizing you. Um, you know, maybe those, um, you know, that you, you know, your soul tribe, your soul family, it's like you're in the spotlight, you're getting acclimated. There's just like, there's a lot of joy 
And I feel like you're not falling for the okie doke. Like this is um, on this deck, you know, the six of wands looks like somebody is trying to, you know, sabotage something because you see how his hands are straight down and he's like handing this gentleman something, but he's not accepting it. And that's why I said someone is going to have to really tap into their intuition um, because they're going to have doubt that this is being extended in good faith. Like it's like, yeah, um, what do you really want? You know, he's not interested in accepting that. And it's because he's grown wiser. He's a little wiser. He's intuitive with spirituality here. His, you know, his, 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 his inner self is telling him to move beyond. Why? Because he knows it's a setup. Look at this five. This is the five of wands now. So this is all of those people that are like gunning for you, you know, trying to sabotage, gaslighting, secret competitors, people who are super duper uh, focused on you. Look at this. Secret haters, Judases. This person is trying to sneak in and attack this person. And he's sitting here in La La Land dreaming while he got like, you know, death <laughs> knocking on his door. But he knows this. So this is something that is a, he's become aware of. So he's protected himself. It's like, what's better protection? God of guns. He's learned something about someone. But this person here is very sneaky. So they're, they're very calculating. Figure he's going to attack while he's resting. He got a better chance to get him while he's resting. So that's why I was feeling like maybe somebody is having some sort of like attacks during like those witching hours. And that's because somebody's trying to cast some sort of spells. We see here with the um, temperance that somebody's being very patient, you know, patient, patient for this attack, patient to strike. And so that's why it's important to not sleep. Sleep is the cousin of death. You know what I'm saying? Other people can't sleep. Scorpios can sleep. You know, we, we rule death. So there's a there's a completion of a cycle cycle. Clearly, I just saw the world card. So we got a couple of cards that just flipped out. We got that five of swords. So this is a lot of gaslighting talking. This is the rumor mill. This is people saying, I heard, I heard and don't have no receipts. Just repeating false information. You know how somebody tells you a story. And by the time that story gets to the third person, it's a completely different story. And that's what this is. And somebody's running, just running away. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody running away from the drama. You know? Trying to get away from all of that. Like removing themselves from that negativity. And then we have temperance here. So divine timing is of the essence. I feel like something had, to, like you, you, you had to, you had to experience this in order for you to see something for what it truly was. And we have the promise. This is by um, Mad Lib. So you had to see something for what it was because maybe somebody was promising you something um, and you was waiting for the opportunity. Like I said, you was giving somebody the benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? And with this temperance here, it's like divine was trying to show you like, look, you know, this is what it is. You know, this person is never going to deliver what they said because it was all gaslighting. It was all games because now they're trying to destroy you. So not only did they dupe you and lie to you and promise you the world, but now they got all their minions trying to attack you. So you're being attacked by all these demons, all of these entities. And you finally, you know, stepped away to go find balance, equilibrium. And look at this. We right back here where this person is trying to, you know, sell you a dream again. And it's like you already saw the devil for what it was. You already saw the devil. You already saw the technology. You took the time away to heal. You took that time to ground yourself. And somebody's coming back. This is like that second time around trying to dupe you again. And that's why you got the spirituality card here. Because divine is telling you, like, use your intuition. Because whoever these people are that are being adamant and persistent, it's like they want to see you on your ass. Like, they want to see you on your back pockets. <laughs> like meaning they want to see you back, you know, on crawling and, and, and struggling again. The vine is telling you, keep your eyes on the prize. You, you, you definitely was able to free yourself from a situation or get away from someone. And it's like, you got lost in something creative. You got lost through, you know, perhaps your, your work, your work ethic, maybe in your career, maybe, you know, pursuing other j roles, other positions, you know, but you mastering your craft as this empress, you could have a business, like I said, some sort of business endeavor. You're growing your business, you're building your empire. 
and then we have the Ten of Pentacles. It's going to lead to success. It's going to lead to victory. You got the Eight of Pentacles all on your own. Somebody's coming in to complete this circle, to complete this, this family dynamic. This is somebody that sees your worth and value as this empress. Somebody that wants to make an honest woman or an honest man out of you. And this is you having to make a decision. You're going to have to make some decisions because I feel like there's going to be somebody trying to trick you to return. And then there's going to be some new special person. You know, this is somebody that's really like your divine counterpart because they speak your love language. And so what we have playing right now. Is we is we still um, to prompt? What is this? Oh, <coughs> excuse M. Y. Oh, Callie, and this is called after the storm. Yep, after the storm. So somebody already created some sort of drama. This is, and they said whatever goes around eventually it comes back to you. So somebody going through karma. That's what I was saying here. Somebody's going through some sort of karmic justice. That's why they up in their head about this. Trying to figure out a master plan to get you back. So we got the five of pentacles. Somebody's definitely feeling like, okay, they got away from a situation. Now they, they, could, they could see things clearly. You know, it's like maybe somebody was struggling with addictions, drinking. You know, they wasn't in their right mind. You know, and maybe they was being led astray. This is by, you know, other demonic entities. This is attachments. This could be addictions, people, circumstances. These are people that were in some sort of sick, um, like I said, some sort of like, it's almost like a cult. It's like, these, it's like the blind leading the blind. You see how the demonic entities are just like, you know, um, leading these, these hooded lost souls, wherever it is they're leading them. This person broke free and he's able to see clearly you know what he looked like what he is but now this person is seeing you in a new relationship because we got hand fast and it's like whatever they was doing they sabotage this connection because this is like your past somebody that left you and abandoned you and now they feel what they made you feel because you know what goes around comes around and that's literally what they just said in the song you know so whatever this person did to you it's like it led you to a divine union but now they're stuck here and they're learning. They're learning from their mistakes. The errors in their ways have taught them that they've lost this dime. They couldn't see you for who you were because they was under some sort of addictions. They was under some sort of afflictions. They had some sort of attachments or they was doing some sort of shadow work. They were in a shadow period in their life. And I feel like now they're able to see clearly. And this is someone has have heavy regrets this is someone struggling financially and now they feel the way you may have felt abandoned left out in the cold devalued unappreciated on the bottom of the deck we have the emperor and the emperor came out with lord god so this is how we know who this is your divine masculine is absolutely coming in and this is a blessing this is a wish fulfillment and like I said, when you change your vibration, then you attract what you are. You're attracting someone that's on that same empress energy. You're attracting the emperor. This is someone who is also a healer, shaman, light worker, someone who has done their work internally. This is someone that listens to music thinking of you. Give me one moment. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. But this is definitely that person, you know, that has been doing their work. Um, they've taken a page out of your book. They've seen how much you've evolved, how much you've transformed. And so now that's what they're doing. They've become a healer. They've even become aware that they have the same gifts and ab abilities and talents. And I feel like there's, like I said, communication telepathically, intuitively. Uh, someone that thinks of you often, someone that wants to communicate to you. And I feel like they will eventually muster up the strength to do so, this emperor is you know absolutely the suit to the empress and whenever you see that empress the emperor is not too far behind and we already saw that because this is the second time the emperor is making his debut and remember we saw this number four four which is also like you and your person in the same likeness in that same four energy and vibration which is not only like the four of um swords energy but also the emperor energy also 
that four of um, cups energy I was picking on, picking up in the four of pentacles, you know, somebody holding on to you, holding on to the vision, their thoughts, you know, of, of what this connection could be and evolve into. But this person is definitely somebody who's um, trying to figure out how to approach you and approach this connection um, in the right way. Because as I said, you know, the Empress, she knows her worth and value. So she's not just going to, um, you know, get all flattered and, and googly eyed when somebody comes back um, or someone re-enters her life. So why is the healer and music here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Thank you, spirit, justice. So this is some, this is like the divine is bringing balance to a situation. And you know what's interesting is look at the depiction of this card. This is like a voodoo doll and has pins in it. And remember I was, we saw the hex banishment and I was saying how somebody was doing some sort of love spell to keep someone, you know, to, to keep like to, to bind someone to them. And that's just, this is like the divine is saying someone is going to receive some sort of karmic justice because someone manipulated their energy and they're healing from that. They're recovering from that, which is why they could potentially be taking their time to communicate. It's like they got to take some time because they're still healing and licking their wounds and recovering from some sort of darkness, some sort of dark energy they was dealing with, some sort of toxic person or a toxic relationship. But this 32 is a constant reminder. You know, the music that they're listening to is a constant reminder of the depth of this connection. We also have the Ten of Wands. So they was very burdened. They was like wrapped up in somebody's lies. You see how he's climbing out of someone's mouth? So it's like words of spell, spells bind. So this person was trapped in some sort of illusion. Someone, someone was preventing them from communicating. It's very interesting how this is a mouth and the masculine that has difficulty expressing themselves is coming out of a mouth. So I feel like there was some sort of spell work to mute someone to stop someone from communicating or expressing themselves emoting of some sort because it's very interesting how this masculine is finally coming out finally finding you know some sort of clearance some way out of this this trap you know out of this illusion it was very burdensome whatever that was it was very burdensome this connection was very heavy but they're receiving karmic justice and I feel like there's going to be some sort of truth that's revealed. And I feel during this, like I said, this lunar eclipse and this Mercury retrograde, there's going to be a lot of things exposed that was hidden. You know, all of this darkness that was being done, all of this uh, shadow work that was being done, you know, is going to be exposed. And so we have the seven of pentacles. So this is someone now realizing like, OK, um, I need to really put some type of effort into this connection. I really need to put forth, this is another seven. We got seven, seven, seven. And seven, seven, seven is a very lucky number. And remember we heard lucky day some more. So I feel like this person is now reflecting more on the connection, reflecting on how they can invest, reflecting on what they could do, uh, reflecting even on how the two of you could build um, an empire, work together, team up become partners, build an alliance, uh, collaborate, grow. It's like this is someone that's, you know, also a boss, you know. So this is you teaming up with, you know, your fellow uh, divine masculine or divine feminine and you all creating um, some sort of spiritual business together, empire. Um, this is a lot of studying. This is a lot of time and energy being put into a particular idea or endeavor and you're going to reap what you sow you're going to see um, or receive a payout for that so why is this Lord God here in spirituality for who's praying and our beloved Scorpio's downfall and why we got the um, two of Pentacles see that this is definitely somebody who was in two minds juggling this is somebody who was definitely struggling like something they was dealing with somebody who was trying to kill him you know, this is somebody that's not love, beloved. This is obsession. This is crazy. This is, per, you know, this is like, this is dangerous. And I feel like this is somebody that's been like watching and studying and, and, you know, because I see this book here, 
And this book looks like it could be like, you know, almost like a book of shadows. I see the symbol of the infinity on there. So that's, you know, typically, um, you know, that magician energy. You'll see the, the infinity symbol over that magician. So this is somebody who's definitely trying to manipulate energy. But I feel you and your person are very aware, very in tune. And I see this queen of chalices. This is your energy. Someone absolutely is in love. Someone definitely is attracted to you, attracted uh, to the point where they want to express themselves, come towards you. I feel like they have somebody behind the scenes trying to really sabotage the connection, take them out. This is really like, this is hatred. This is demonic even, you know, to try to kill another person. And they, they could be like, they could be trapped in some sort of lies and illusion because this is a sword. But this is the two of pentacles. So this sword or this knife rather. This, this knife that's trying to take this man out. He's fighting for his life. So whatever this connection is. This person is stuck in two. It's like they're in a relationship that they're trying to get out of. The person that you're attracting is in a relationship you're trying, they're trying to get out of. And whoever they're trying to get out of the relationship with is trying to take them out. You know. If, if not take them out, trying to take away their free will, their free liberties, you know, doing spell work. Like I said, I was seeing, you know, the depiction on this justice card is very interesting with that little mojo doll. And then all those, you know, it's like stuck right in the heart chakra, you know, those pins. So it's like somebody is really trying to affect someone's love life. And this is somebody that could have potentially learned, you know, what this person was doing, you know, because the two of pentacles is like, you know, you're juggling you know, two different ideas. This person may have discovered someone is, you know, coming, you know, having this grand idea to, to leave a situation and go after what they truly desire, you know, and somebody's not having it. Someone's not having it. I see the knave of um, wands here. So this is like the knight of wands. And this is also fl flying out. So this is really somebody who's, um, who was kind of like that playboy energy, you know, kind of like, very young, maybe they played with someone's heart, broke someone's heart, because I do see this four, which gives me, like I said, the four of swords, or it could give me like even the four of pentacles. They broke someone else's heart while still holding on to you, or maybe this is someone who's recovering from heartbreak after discovering somebody that they could have been in a relationship with was trying to take them out, or somebody that could have potentially been a player, or playerette, a ho. Um, but they ultimately found out there was a snake or there was a demon of some sort because I see like these snake, you know, limbs or whatever you call it, tentacles. And um, they discovered that. So now they're trying to take action. Now they're in a different space in terms of what they want. They want to take a different course of action. The bottom of the deck, we see the three of wands. So now they're planning and preparing, trying to strategize and out. You know, a plan to get out of a situation, a plan to remove themselves from a circumstance because it's no longer fulfilling. In fact, it's gotten really dangerous. It's gotten really toxic. Maybe there was a lot of arguments. Maybe somebody said something that was very biting, something very um, just low blow hit beneath the belt. Somebody sees someone clearly because he could clearly see who this is now, even though they're wearing a hood. It's like they could see who this person is. They could see beyond the illusion maybe this person was trapped in an illusion look at all the clouds you see you know the king of air there you know so this could have been somebody dealing with someone who was very cold and callous and we have i love you here so somebody realizes that they are in love with you their passion their desire is with you the connection with you is natural it's organic it's not forced this is someone planning, preparing, strategizing a way to come towards you. This is somebody who's definitely seeing you in your light as that empress. The three represents that empress energy. This is somebody who could be envisioning themselves, you know, coming in and, and, and proposing as this is the number 11. So they see you as that, you know, cosmic companion. Why is fire um, and nature here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? And so we have the two of wands. So they do take action. They do come forward. They do come toward you. They do, you know, and there goes the hierophant. They're coming toward you and they're proposing. 
Maybe they're kicking it with some of their family members, maybe an elder in the family, you know, maybe some of the matriarchs asking, you know, their humble advice on what to do, what action to take. And they're telling them, go towards, you know, what you desire, that wish fulfillment. This is the Hierophant. So this is really an energy that with that two and that five, this is somebody that's really going to take action. They're going to come towards you and they're going to um, make that move because they do love you. We have um, Sherry Denise singing, I love you. So this person is, you know, really explaining to someone like, look, I, I really love my Scorpio. And not only do I love them, but I have this, this burning desire, you know, this attraction, this fire and desire to go towards them. The connection between the two of us is very natural. It's not forced. It's very organic. We have good banter. We have great conversations, you know, and they know me. They see me. This is somebody that wants to come towards you to take charge. You know, they want to assert themselves this time around. This is somebody that's really connecting and building with elders or talking to, you know, individuals who have successful marriages, long term marriages. Like they're not talking to the dun -dun -dun around them no more. Because remember that Four of Swords, it was like all those people were chasing them. So it's almost like somebody was trying to, you know, sabotage opportunities. Maybe they realized that they was like, you know, amongst those that were lost, you know. But now they, they, they're they admitting and owning the fact that they love you. The fact that they have this passion, this yearning, this desire. And they're getting some really good advice from people who have successful marriages. For people who have proven that, you know, marriage works, you know, maybe they're going, like I said, to elders that could be, you know, 50 years married, you know, they're going to those type of people and, and, and soaking up some game, you know, picking up them jewels and gems. The bottom of the deck, we have the moon. So this is what's hidden. What's hidden is this person is absolutely dealing with someone who is trying to keep them stuck and stagnant, but they are protected. You could be dealing with somebody, like I said, that has water or air in their chart. This is somebody where the truth is going to be exposed. You know, whatever lies, whatever deceit, whatever betrayals, beloved, are going to be exposed. And I feel like it's because the divine is going to bring everything out into the open. That's the divine download. Someone's sensitivity. We got the moon here and the nine of pentacles. And then we have the emperor yet again. See that? And then the devil is not too far. So this devil is looking over this emperor. You see that? Like hovering over this emperor's shoulder. And the emperor is who's trying to return back to you. So there could be some sort of karmic, you know, even if that's a friend, a family member, whomever it is, you know, overbearing parent, a nosy neighbor, whomever it is, somebody that's jealous and envious of you and this connection, whoever it is, somebody is definitely trying to sabotage this connection because they have some sick attachment. You know, this could be a codependent connection or relationship. They don't want this person to go and, and, and you know, go be free. They don't want them to be free and, 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 and daring and take leaps of faith. They want them to be stuck on them. But what I see here is the Nine of Pentacles along with the moon card. So this is somebody that could be running towards what they truly desire because they do see your worth and value. They see this connection can grow. It could grow into something that's real, something that evolves into, like I said, commitment, marriage, where you all are building you know, a legacy and planting seeds and roots. This is a powerful connection here, especially with protection. So why is Wiccan Reed, Ethos, and Magic Circle protection here for who's hating on Scorpios and praying on their downfall? We got the fool. See that? So this only a fool is going to try to box with God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Only a fool is going to try to box with God. This person doesn't realize that this is a, a, a preordained union. You know, and when you're trying to go against what the divine is doing, you will never win. This person is going to drive themselves crazy. This is what this person was trying to do to that divine masculine, though, is trying to drive them crazy, trying to have them up in their head until this light bulb moment went off and they started to look at the people around them, look at the situation for what it truly was. And so there's a sense of this person realizing, like, someone was taking away their free will and liberty. And this is what's causing, like, that tower moment 
is like a sudden upheaval, something unexpected, like I said, is going to happen. And I feel like it's because somebody realizes somebody they've been with or someone that they are dealing with is doing some real janky-ish, some real sussy stuff. And this is the Queen of Pentacles here. So whoever they're with, they could be in a commitment, in a relationship. This is somebody that's breaking free from some sort of karmic. And this is someone that you may or may not know. I feel you do know them because we saw the familiar card and because of all this energy saying they want to talk to you. But it could also be a secret admirer that wants to reach out. But before they reach out, they know they got to be they got to be solid before they come toward you because they see you as the empress. So they're matching your energy and your vibration as the emperor. But they also got to do the clearing. Remember, we saw clearance. So they got to clean, clear and cleanse their space, their energy of any past or lingering energy because we clearly see somebody was putting some sort of hexes and spells and doing all type of dark magic. And the ish going to hit the fan because the divine is fed up with what's hidden, all of the secrets and the lies and all of the illusions and delusions, the betrayals, the deception, the lying, the cheating, all of the sneaky energy, the divine is done with it. And so he's blowing this tower up to expose the lies, to expose just how faulty the foundation of this connection really was built on. And so now once you can see everything clear as day, now you can reassess your situation. And that's exactly what this person is doing. These people were trying to drive them crazy, had them up in their head, couldn't speak. You know, all of this chatter, all of this constant chatter. And it just made them feel like they couldn't communicate their own feelings. What? Why is the protection card here an adventure for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? And why? They have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. Look at that, the Ace of Pentacles. So this connection is protected. The Ace of Pentacles is a tangible offer of a job, an opportunity, a new home, a new car. This is new funds. This is a wish fulfillment. This is a blessing. This could also speak to someone coming in and proposing. This connection is protected. Your money is protected. Whatever you're doing in business is protected and it will continue to grow. We saw that eight of pentacles. So whatever you're working on, you very tediously, very intentionally, it's going to be very successful for you. You're going to have financial freedom here. And I feel like this is going to be uh, a, a tower moment for someone else because perhaps maybe you're coming into union with someone that wants to reconnect, reconcile, you know what I'm saying? And the two of you, you're going to have a very solid, stable, very fulfilling connection. Let me get one more card here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall. See that? This is the, you know, longing, yearning, missed opportunity. And so we have the eight of wands. So they're coming in quickly. They're coming in and they're going to express themselves. They're finally going to get out of their head and they're going to express themselves and they're going to make this offer. This is someone that finally sees the forest from the trees. They finally, you know, have built up that strength and courage. They finally have obtained that wisdom and they're going to take action. They're going to make the offer that they've been kind of fearing to make. We have Odyssey, and this is called Inside Out. So I feel like something has been, you know, turned around in this situation. Something is going to turn around, rather, in this situation. And we have Cut Your Losses, You'll Be Rewarded Greatly. So this is what this person is realizing, that they have to cut themselves free from this karmic, from this toxicity, they have to get rid of someone, something that does not serve their highest good. And we have, um, as the world turn, looks, look at this. My cards are falling out of my hand. Give me one moment. Because this is a big old thick deck of cards. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to hold on to all of these gazillion cards. Because I've, you know, combined two, two decks together. But it says, cut your losses, you'll be rewarded greatly. And then we have as the world turns. So this is like the world card. So there is an ending of a cycle. And we do know that and see that clearly with the cards. Um, so this is really, like I said, you know, gaining a whole new perspective, growing, being um, someone who has learned through trial and error. 
And you're going to have a happy house and a happy spouse. We see that here. You know, that Ten of Pentacles could allude to the fact that you're going to have a very beautiful, you know, marriage commitment. We saw hand fasting and that feminine energy was wearing a beautiful ring. We see the divine feminine, the divine emperor, you know, or the divine masculine rather, and that empress. So these are, you know, and you're highly attractive and, and you know, you know your worth and value. So you're not settling, which is why someone's trying to get their act right together. You know, they're trying to match your fly and match your vibration, period. And so we have roots and culture playing by Shaba Ranks. So this is definitely someone that you're going to build roots with, you know, build a family, grow with. This is someone that will become, like I said, your tribes, you know, your soul tribe, your family, because this is a spiritual partnership. So it says you are so worth it and they will prove it to you. So now someone is coming back and we see with the hand fasting, they're coming back to claim you, to make you wifey. They realize that you're worth it. They realize that, you know, they, they must have been tripping when they chose somebody over you. Because now look at you shining and glowing and growing, you know. So this person really sees, you know, the future with you. They see, they can envision a future, envision family, you know. They can envision those things. It says dreams, don't forget them. They are more than something you wake up from. So this person can't stop thinking of you, let alone they can't stop dreaming of you. They see your face clear as day. And this is because whatever they're doing in the waking state or whoever they're dealing with in the waking state, they got them locked down. They've taken away their free will, their free liberty. And in the dream state is the only place that the two of you can meet. This person is healing from whatever spell work, whatever hexes that was put on them. The music kind of keeps them grounded, you know, with roots and culture. Somebody threw some roots on them. Somebody threw some roots, and this could be somebody that could be from the same background, culture, same, you know, same area. Let's see. Why is um, healer, music, justice... And the Ten of Wands here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. I'm not taking none of these because they're down. I'm just taking the one that's upright. So place those in there. And it says, treat yourself. You deserve it. And it says, self-love is the best love. And remember, self-love showed up during the pre-shuffle with the numerology deck. So this person is realizing that whatever they're dealing with, they're, there's no love there. And, and they're also realizing that they got to treat themselves better. They got to love them more. They got to love themselves more. They got to heal from whatever it is they've endured, whatever negativity they've had to deal with within a connection. They realizing like they deserve more. They want more. They want to be happy. They don't want to feel trapped, overwhelmed, overburdened and underappreciated. This is like they're realizing like their worth and value. Maybe they're hearing songs and it's kind of like reminding them of what love should feel like. It's defining love for them. But there is a sense that they're healing through the pain. And we have um, Horace, Andy, and this is called Skylarking. So this is somebody that definitely dreams a lot, sees you, like I said, as wish fulfillment. Maybe could be praying, trying to manifest you back. Why is Lord God, Divine Masculine, Spirituality, and the Queen of Cups here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? So we have She Loves Me, She Loves Me Not, Games, Mixed Signals. So somebody's absolutely really feeling the love from you. And then they're also feeling whoever they're with could potentially be playing a lot of mind games. Somebody is trapped in a, 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 an illusion and they're trying to, you know, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities around them because this is a 7-7. Seven, seven, so they're listening to the download. This is like the divine giving them divine download, divine intervention. With she loves me, she loves me not, games, mixed signals. This is someone who is playing a lot of games, playing with someone's heart. One minute they're there. We saw that, that um, Knight of Wands. That's that player energy, very unreliable, flighty, in and out. This could have potentially been someone that this person genuinely loved, but their higher self, their inner self, whatever. It's like their spiritual, um, their Christ consciousness uh, let them know, like somebody's playing games. And it's because they're a liar. They're a cheat. This is just who they are. And are you really in love? Give me one moment. My bad. Okay. 
So yeah, so this Judas energy, she loves me, she loves me not. That's the player energy that I was getting, the flighty energy from that Knight of Wands. And with pay attention, that's what this person is doing. And when they're paying attention to the signs, divine is giving them them divine downloads. And they're also realizing the spiritual connection bond that they have with you. This could even be your energy, you know, realizing that you have a more deeper, profound connection with someone that is going to match your vibration, someone that's also spiritual, someone that's also in spiritual, you know, in the spiritual practice, in the spiritual realm. But somebody's also really like discovering there's a Judas amongst them. There's a snake. There's a frenemy, an enemy. This is somebody devoid of, of emotions, someone that likes to play games, someone that's very flighty, unreliable, in and out. Look at that. Moving to a new home. And remember, we saw that hearth home card returning or home. Um, what did it say? It said something about returning home. So it was like somebody is returning back to what feels like home because they're moving out. <laughs> They're moving out of this toxic connection with this karmic or with this this person that's casting these spells. This could even be like a maternal figure, you know, a mother, a father. This is somebody that's like super, super. Um, they've just overstepped their boundaries and they're definitely um, taking away someone's free liberty and free will. But this also to me, I just feel like it's, it could potentially be a karmic that the divine masculine, even if it's a divine feminine, but it says divine masculine. This is someone they're dealing with. Somebody that's really manipulating the energies and with moving, somebody's choosing to move because they realize somebody was a snake trying to take them out. You know, this is somebody that was really like juggling. Maybe they discovered somebody had, you know, some extracurricular activities going on on the outside of the home of their relationship. Being this player, playerette, flighty in and out, always unavailable. Maybe somebody realized it and then they're trying to take them out before. They could expose the truth, but someone's moving on. Why is this imagination, the 44 environment, two of pentacles and the knight of wands here? But who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? And what do we have? Okay. And we have, don't be complacent. Go out and get what you want and what you desire. That's why this person, because they're up in their head about this connection. They're already visualizing and thinking about the situation. You know, they're envisioning themselves in a very healthy, loving dynamic. And they realize like they're unfulfilled in this connection. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of arguments. There's just a lot of toxicity, lack of trust. And so they realize like they've been complacent. They've been sitting around just accepting whatever. And the divine is saying, stop being complacent. You have a choice. You have a decision. The king of swords showed up twice, and I feel like that's what they're going to do. They're going to make the decision to move forward, to make the move. Let me see. So why is fire, nature, the two of wands, and the hierophant here? Okay. <laughs> I don't want those to fall. So these are left in my hands. So let's see what we have. Four-page letter. I can't make this up. This person is trying to pen you a letter because this is someone who admires you. Look what I have here. It just flipped over. It says, do something for yourself. Watch a sunset. Take a drive. Purchase some clothing, um, a piece of jewelry, and just love on you. So that's what this person is doing now. You know, that's what this, you know, this nature is. It's like going out in nature, you know, and, and realizing self-love makes you more attractive. Realizing they got to take care of themselves. Receiving the downloads, you know. And they're rediscovering their passions. Things, you know, are starting to move and erupt. Things that have been, you know, emotions and feelings that have been kind of uh, vacant. You know, it's like now they're, they're starting to, to bubble up. And, you know, they're starting to come to the surface. And this is something that this person is starting to realize and they want to express. So they could be, you know, preparing to send you a letter to spark that conversation. And we got mistress is what they call me and I answer to it. So there is a mistress here that is trying to sabotage or stand in between a very sacred connection. And this mistress is going to live stressed out because she's trying to tamper with a connection that is very sacred. That's very spiritual. And the divine is, is the one orchestrating to bring this union into fruition. I feel this also could be this person who could be trying to use 
you know, sex as a weapon, trying to entice, trying to be seductive. You know, maybe that's a succubus energy or incubus energy. Some of you, you know, may be having a, a, um, that person that wants to come in. They could be doing that. This could be somebody that you don't even know. And they just hating on whoever the demo that that person they're with is potentially, you know, um, coming into union with. They may not even know you exist. It says he, she is the one that got away. Can't shake this feeling. That's why this person is up having these powwow sessions with people like talking to them, getting advice. You know, maybe they're even reading their basic instructions before leaving Earth. Maybe they're just, you know, doing their own due diligence to, you know, really um, soul search. And they're coming up with this same conclusion. This is the same message that came out in yesterday's reading. And it says moving to a new home. So this person will be relocating, getting out of that environment. So they do free themselves. And we do see them leaving the mouth of this, this demon here. Because they was trapped in lies, illusions. Remember, spe words of spells, spells bind. And so they was really stuck someplace not knowing their worth. And now we have hone your skills, gifts, talents, practice makes perfect. So that's what this person is starting to do. They're starting to, you know, learn how to manifest. When I look at this feminine energy, it's like she's controlling the fire. You know, she's she's controlling the fire as above, so below. She could be an alchemist. She could even be, you know, the magi, a sorcerer. Maybe this is the energy your person is starting to take on because remember, they also had healer. So not only are you, you know, a healer, shaman, light worker and very spiritually strong, but your person you're attracting is as well. And so maybe that's what they're doing now is he honing their skills, gifts and talents. Ask for what you need. Closed mouths don't get fed. So this person is realizing they need to communicate. They need to express themselves because you're never going to know how they feel or that they feel anything if they don't open up their mouths and express what they're feeling. And I feel like for a long time they didn't do it because they was being manipulated not to do it. Somebody was binding them, keeping them contained, you know, and see, perform a grounding ritual, kick your shoes off and plant your feet in the dirt. So this is absolutely what I feel many of you could be doing. Maybe someone is needing to do this because remember we saw clearance. So they may need to perform a release ritual or a release ceremony to get this person's energy, you know, to kind of cut themselves free from someone's energy to break that yoke hex or spell to banish that energy that this person was throwing on them. Why is Wiccan read magic circle here? And the same card flew back out. Look at that. I can't make this ish up. And it almost looks like this, you know, because you can see here she's planted very, you know, her feet are planted right on that, that five pointed star and right in, you know, the center of this, you know, circle of protection. So I do feel like this is what the divine is saying. Like when you ground yourself, that does allow for you to release, to, you know, let go, to purge, you know, to, to rid yourself of certain energy. And that's perhaps what the divine is kind of telling someone that they need to do. What did I say about an incubus succubus? Someone is, was trapped in a very um, lustful connection and confused it or could have confused it with love. And now they're starting to see clearly that this was a trap, that this was all an illusion. Let me get a couple more messages for Wiccan read and magic circle of protection and the adventure card, thank you. It says, as above, so below, you are the alchemist. This is what this person is realizing, that they are the alchemist, and that's what's going to, you know, encourage them to take action and move forward and come towards you and speak their truth and express their, their truth as well. This person is realizing that they are the master, you know. And look at this, kings, queens, disease, gluttony, power hungry. This is what they're cutting off. If you look at this king, he has this sword and he cuts off the head of this very gluttonous, you know, negative person. This is that same person that had them trapped. Because if you look at this head, you know, the head of the fool right here, and then you look at this head, that's the same person. So it's like this, this king starts to see their way clear. It's someone that was trying to keep them trapped, or maybe even their own mindset. It's like they cut themselves free. This is almost like saying they, they, they changed their their whole mindset, like they, they free their dome from some sort of mind uckery, gaslighting, some sort of illusions or trichnology, and they are re, um, they're feeling those feelings of chemistry because now they're no longer trapped. They're seeing things very clearly, 
you know, this is a king of swords, so he's very cerebral, very intelligent, very aware. And with this, it's the chemistry for you, the inherent chemistry. This is what the two of you will share. And this is why there's people lurking in the background trying to sabotage this because, as I said earlier, the chemistry and the synergy is something that is going to let you know that someone is your person. Because when you come into union with that person, that's what you're going to feel. You're going to feel this, this striking, overwhelming feeling and sensation of love. And they're going to feel the same thing for you. There's going to be a lot of similarities, familiarities, commonalities. There's just going to be a lot that the two of you share. As I said, the banter, the conversations, they're just going to stimulate you beyond this realm. It's just going to be something that you've never had before. And you're just going to know. And you're going to remember this reading like Scorpio did say that. Q told me this person was coming. And here they are. Voila. But whoever's hating and preying on your person and you or on this union, whoever's preying on your downfall, I feel like it is almost like um, guilty by association situation. You know, this could potentially be an ex of yours, which I wasn't really picking up. I was picking up an ex of someone that is coming in, someone that's, uh, you know, meant to come into your life. This is like, uh, I'm, I'm just feeling like this isn't someone you've ever been in a relationship with. Uh, this is someone that you could have, you know, you could be associated with this person. You could know this person. As I said, you could have worked with this person, lived around this person. Um, there was some banter back and forth. There was some sort of connection, but it was always like that was the one that got away. You always felt something more. They felt something more, but you never enacted. You never acted upon it. And now this time around, there's like there's no denying this person wants to jump in, head dive into this because now they've worked it out within themselves. Maybe they was running from it. Maybe they was trying to hold on to a connection with that two of pentacles that they were already in. Maybe they were residual feelings with an ex or somebody that they was entangled with. But whoever this is, they're looking at that person like a mistress, somebody that just, you know, really just uses their sex, uses their, um, their body as a weapon, you know, and that's no longer enticing because this person needs more. When you're spiritual, those things don't excite you. You know, you need something more deeper, more profound to keep your interest, to pique your interest. And sex doesn't doesn't cut it for somebody who's looking for, um, you know, something real. You know, maybe they're dealing with somebody who's numb, devoid of emotions. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this person has caused your person to to feel numb, like they don't feel anything for this person. And that's what's making it easier to move on, to move out, to move away because they've been complacent long enough. And now it's time for them to, you know, go out and find what they desire, you know, because they realize that closed mouths don't get fed. And they're chasing this, 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 uh, this chemistry. They're chasing after that. And we got frenemies. They don't really rock with you like that. And then we have celibacy. No, um, no, it says no self-pleasure, maintaining self-control. So some of you could be celibate. Maybe your person is being celibate, like they're holding out on sex because they realize that they're sleeping with the enemy, you know, so they're not giving up any goods. And that's making this person even more angry, even more frustrated. And we got wear your protected, protective jewelry, amulets, ward off the evil that lurks. So this is really like, you know, definitely somebody's like fighting for their life, you know, fighting to get out of a situation because somebody is very, very persistent you know, waiting for opportunities to strike. But I feel like the jig is up. Somebody has been exposed. Somebody sees someone for who they truly are. And this is what's making them really upset and frustrated to the point where they want to attack. You know what I'm saying? Because they feel seen. Like, the jig is up. I see you now. I see that you're no good. And this person was very greedy. They could have been with this person for money. You know, they could have been with this person for stability, security. You know, for material reasons, for just you know, societal reasons. And now they're realizing like, this is not a fulfilling connection. It's not fulfilling at all. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios, that they pray and pray on your downfall series. This is what's lurking and lingering, you know, lingering in the background. I hope the message has resonated for you. If you found that it did, please be kind, hit the like, share and subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification. So, you know, whenever I upload, if you are new, I hope you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. It's love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace.